Hey friends, good morning or afternoon from a very festive Epcot. We're doing Epcot today, I'm so excited. There's so many things I wanna show my mom, but most importantly, I want my mom to ride Soren. So, let's go do this. Festival, the holidays have kicked off, and it's my first time actually being here during the festival because the last time I actually was here was for that media event for the festival, the holidays, but it officially didn't start then. So now I get to see it in full bloom. Look at that monorail and the new Epcot logo. Wow, Epcot monorail, Spaceship Earth. I apologize for the lack of intros and b-rolls. I usually spend a lot of time actually doing those, but since this is kind of like a vacation for me, I want to spend that time with my family. I don't want to be off going, getting the beautiful shots and stuff like that. So that's why I decided to do the vlogs without them. Even though some of them I might put in there because I really love making them. They're my favorite part. It seems so quiet here at Epcot today. Honestly, oh, I can hear Christmas music playing. That gets me excited. I think we're gonna go right on over to the land. We're gonna definitely knock out Living with the Land and Soren. I'm so excited because I feel like if my mom likes Soren and she thinks it's a good ride, then I think she's gonna like Flight of Passage. So that's why I decided to do Soren before Flight of Passage, kind of as a judge. You know what I mean? If you don't like Soren, you're not gonna like Flight of Passage. This is a surprise. I have never seen just random character meet and greets out here, but Cinderella and Prince Charming are actually meeting right here. I have never seen that before. First ride of the day, living with the land. Right this way, come on. There you go. You excited to ride this? Do you even know what it is? Nope, but you're excited. All right. Oh, we're off to a bumpy start. Just, I'll let you know when the ride drops down and we go down the big drop. You might get splashed. For a growing world. One day, Mom, I want to live in that house. And sometimes overuse of the land. I just want to live there. search for more Look at those lights. Look at that dragon fruit plant. You know, you don't see those often. Some, like so the pretty. Lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas. Oh, look at that. In the back, you can see they have sea grape and a water lily right up here, huh? Hidden Mickey. Look at that cotton wreath. That's really pretty. Ooh, I'm liking that they have Christmas music in here. Plus, look at that pepper wreath. Look at those Mickey shaped pumpkins down there. That's awesome. I was skeptical about living with the land and the holiday overlay during the day, but this is pretty bright in here. It's still enjoyable. Probably a lot better at night, though. Did you like it? Yeah, I knew you would. I knew you would. Now it's time that we actually get on Soren, and I'm gonna make sure we get the best seat available because you know how I like it. There's a certain way. There's some different ways people like to enjoy Soren, but I'll show you how I like to ride Soren my way. We're soaring, we're flying. This is my favorite ride. When I first rode Soren, I literally got goosebumps. And ever since then, I've just been so <laughs> like addicted to Disney and attractions and everything. It started with Soren for me. I've seen this happen so many times, but you know how some people like to actually like lean up against these chain things and like have it hold you? Do not do it here because these are magnets and it will fall and I see people actually hit the ground. I always like going to the newest theater, which is Concourse C. I mean, the theater doesn't make much of a difference. I just like newer things. You know what I mean? The screen's the newest, the walls are the newest. This is all brand new about 
I think three years ago. <laughs> and I like to do B because it's right in the middle and it's perfect for me. And then we do row one. The perfect experience. You don't have to put the loop on because you don't measure up to the height indicator. You ready? Here we go. We're soaring. It's coming. It's coming. We're in the tower. We are ready for takeoff. So happy. Good, good. Soren's got a new fan. Yep. yep, it's good, right? Oh, yeah. From Soren to Figment. My mom's gonna like this one a lot. Bon Bon likes this one a lot. I do. You like Figment, don't you? I do like Figment. Uh huh. Nobody ever sitting in here. Why? I think. This should be like a universal lounge area. I'd love to just come in here, take a seat. I'll even be a receptionist if you need it. I don't mind. Look at that. It's like a figment phone. <laughs> I love this ride because all of the different senses. Like I love the smell lab. The only thing I don't like is the tickle lab. I don't like how they touch you. <laughs> One thing that I'm really worried about is when we get to the smell lab, mom, I really hope that we get something nice like roses. I pray yeah. we don't get the skunk. Yeah. When you get to the touch lab, they only touch in the middle. Like whoever's sitting in the middle. This is one of our discoveries, the figment of imagination. Yeah, I know all about the senses. There's sight, sound, smell, touch, goochie goochie goo! Okay, it's the smell lab. Oh, I want vanilla. Vanilla or chocolate or cookies? Cinnamon? No skunk. It's always a good time to use your imagination, so let the good times roll! Oh. You win one sandwich! Don't! Now we are actually going to go on into the Chase photo spot and see what characters they got in here. It's been a while that I've been here, but usually it's either Mickey and Goofy or Minnie and Pluto. That's exciting to see. The walls are so pretty in here and the lighting changes colors. I like that a lot. And how about that wall? It's a monorail going uphill. That's awesome, isn't it? You lead the way. <laughs> Bum, ba, da, da. And I put it right behind the red line. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> hello, hello. Aww. Good, sir. How are you? Thank you. <laughs> 
Should I come over with me, Keith? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'll go over for a photo. See you guys. Thank you. Bye. Have a great day. And there it is, my first look at Epcot's Christmas tree. This wasn't up last time I was here, so it's very nice to see it. It is beautiful. I love the ornaments. Just such a beautiful tree. I love it. Since we are over at World Showcase, I think we're gonna partake in the holiday cookie stroll and actually fill up on some cookies. You go around to each booth, get a cookie, and at the end of it, you actually get the Santa Mickey sugar cookie. Mmm, I'm excited. And our first stop is gonna be Feast of the Three Kings and they have the chocolate crinkle cookie. And guess what, it's only $2.50. That's not a bad deal. The first cookie is the chocolate crinkle cookie. Oh yeah, looks like it's good. Mm -hmm. A lot of powdered sugar. Mm -hmm. Is that powdered sugar? Mm -hmm. Oh. One of my favorite things about Festival of the Holidays is the live entertainment. And we are gonna show you my favorite live entertainment for the Festival of the Holidays, right here in the Norway Pavilion. Right here in Norway, the story of Christmas told by Jewel Nissen. He's my favorite. Hello there, hiya. Hello over there, hiya. Well, hello everyone. My name is Sigri and I'm so excited today to tell you about Christmases in Norway. In fact, here is a bit of a Christmas carol sung by children of all ages, the mouse song or Musebisa. When nights are getting longer and lakes will freeze with ice, Mother Mouse warns strongly about a foul device. We must avoid the mouse trap, but there is not to fear. We'll all be celebrating at Christmas time this year. I have to tell you, I have lived on a farm my whole life, and in all my Christmases, I have never seen him. So all this talk about a barn Santa is neither here nor there, for we all know that these mischief makers do not exist, except in stories and fairy tales. So all this talk about a barn Santa is neither here nor there, for we all know these mischief makers do not exist. Unless they do exist, and are therefore very clever and mischievous indeed. <laughs> Dramatic pause to properly introduce myself. I am the legendary Barn Santa! There you go, that was you perfectly, very nice. So, I don't exist, huh? Well, you all see me, right? Yeah. Yes! Okay, well, let's hear you say a nice Goo Yule! And it would be a Goo Yule, but every Christmas has been the same. Sigrid here doesn't see me because she doesn't believe that I exist, even when I do this. <laughs> she still doesn't see me. <gasps> Say, you all wouldn't mind if I take the liberty to use a little magic and mischief to help Seagree with her story? <laughs> Who knows? Maybe this time she just might believe. <laughs> a little bit of cinnamon and sugar and a nice little pat of butter right on the top. Okay, yeah, well maybe it doesn't sound like such a treat to all of you, but believe me, when the kitties leave me a nice steaming bowl of porridge in the hayloft, <laughs> it warms me right up on a cold winter's night, and it's, uh, well, it's high in fiber, too. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> you will never... Oh. Well, all right. Uh, there you are. Uh, yes, well, Hi. now you know all about the holidays on Norway's farms, and I am sorry to burst your bubble about the whole gnome thing, but he does not exist. He doesn't. It's you! It's me! It's him! I'm him! The Barn Santa! Go you! Drew, listen, the Barn Santa is my absolute favorite Santa. He is so funny. It kind of reminds me of Dwight Santa from The Office. You guys ever see that episode of Dwight? I love it. I love it so much. Now we are here in Germany for our next cookie spot, and it's gonna be the Linzer cookie. These are my mom's favorite cookies, actually. I don't know if I can convince my mom that you're actually supposed to eat food on the garbage cans at Epcot. <laughs> it's literally the uh, table of food and wine, festival of the holidays, flower and garden. But here are the Linzer cookies. Look at those. They look really good. 
Mm -hmm. Oh. We actually stopped because the candlelight processional is starting to come up at 645 and it is booked. It is already full and even the 8 o'clock is full. The line is wrapped down all the way back almost to Germany. So we were walking by and we found this little nifty spot right outside the yellow walkway. So we'll have a good spot to see Whoopi and the whole entire orchestra. While we wait for that, we might as well head on over to the American Adventure and get our next cookie for the cookie stroll and check out the second Christmas tree at Epcot. That's right, they have two. Epcot has two Christmas trees. There's the second tree. Now would you look at that? Right outside the American Adventure. And holy moly, look at the line. Oh wait, that's the line to meet Santa. Oh, we're good, we just want some gingerbread men. <laughs> Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are looking fantastic. And there it is, our next cookie, the gingerbread man from the American Pavilion. Look at him, he looks very nice. Can I have a leg, please? One leg, coming up. One leg coming up, thank you. It is really filling in here, honestly. The theater itself is full, and then look at all the people on the outside of the theater, all lined up just looking in. Whoopi Goldberg draws a big crowd. Probably not as much as uh, Neil Patrick Harris. He probably draws the biggest crowd. Either that, Pat Sajak, or Warwick Davis. Oh, it's starting. The candlelight processional is absolutely beautiful. People wait hours and hours just to get good seats there. Even if you get a dining package, you still need to wait hours ahead of time just to get the good seats. And it's worth it if you really want to see that show. And our next cookie is the black and white and it's 100% plant-based. Mom's taking photos. Instagram, what are you gonna hashtag that? Black and white cookie. Hashtag. I don't have Instagram. What's your hashtag? Uh, I don't know. Oh, the plant based cookie. I like this lemon. Oh, I like it a lot. I remember, I really did like it. At first, I was tasting like that. We decided to stop over in the United Kingdom because they have the Tinkerbell Lantern photo opportunity. And I feel like that's a really cool one to actually get done. Got it. Look at that. Isn't that a great photo opportunity? This just started a couple of weeks ago too, didn't it? Or has it been oh, a while? We had it last year. Oh. Um, but because it's been so dark so much later during the summer, we don't bring it back out until it gets dark earlier. I like that. Yeah. I thought it would make a good mother and daughter photo opportunity. Look at that, it is very nice, isn't it? There it is, 
That's the last cookie we have to purchase before you get a free cookie, right? Mm -hmm. The peppermint cookie here at the Canadian Pavilion. It looks good. Oh boy. I think the peppermint cookie is my favorite. I'm gonna say it. I love it. I love peppermint though. Yeah, Complete. You Look at that. Oh, you did it. Far, you get one of each. Thank you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. And you get some milk with it. Ah, very nice. Oh, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. Hold on one second. You got it. There it goes. Congratulations, y'all. Thank you. Did you just rip Mickey's ear off? I did. Thank you. I was only gonna be able to have a The cookie stroll was fantastic. The peppermint cookie, still my favorite, hands down. Now that our cookie stroll is done, let's celebrate with a little Frozen Ever After. It's Bon Bon's favorite movie. It is. Hey, flash off, lady. <laughs> To that phone, Mom. Hang on to your phone. the ride but she also classified it as scary scary so now we're gonna head back over to future world because my mom wants to ride soaring again but Bonnie wants to ride test track so we're gonna try to accomplish test track and soaring and then make it back here for Epcot forever at 930 in one hour it's not gonna work when mom's going the wrong way right there you go <laughs> You know, mom can't ride this, so we're gonna have to ride for her in spirit. You're here in spirit with us. Seatbelt check. Thank you. You're welcome. Test track is done. We have literally 40 minutes to get to Soren, ride Soren, and then get back over to World Showcase for Epcot Forever. You think we're gonna make it, Ma? Yep. All right. But I need to get my magnets. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Hello. Let's go. First pass holder magnets. Oh. Now you can put one on each car. All right, no time to be sentimental. Let's get to Soren. Let's go. You're going the wrong way. <laughs> Mom's battery's dying. I don't know if we're gonna make it. You got a horn on that thing? <laughs> oh boy, 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 boy. It is 9:12. We're just getting on Soren now. Oh lordy, we are cutting it close. Oh. Seven minutes to go. The battery is dead. We're running on neutral. <laughs> we got two minutes. You might be in big trouble trying to get me out of here. Oh, that's okay. We'll push you. 
One minute. One. Oh, we got this. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> right here is good, Ma. was amazing and so are you Christmas tree mom just follow the kid with the glow stick he's showing you the way <laughs> see he's pointing right there monorail beautiful okay that was very difficult to get out but we are back in the parking lot super super crowded when Epcot forever let out and because of the construction they have going on in that central hub there wow you are packed in there like sardines and it was really really rough but I think that's it for the night we got so much accomplished I'm so happy that uh, got so much done so that they could see it and uh, love to let you live we'll see you next time bye <laughs>